All right, so now we are going to be meeting with Dr. Mal. Um, Tuesdays is my Hattie Boydell and Gut Performance Day. So this is also my mum, Linda. Linda is, uh, essentially we, we run Gut Performance together. So this is the woman that you were talking to when you are talking to her, when you were talking to Gut Performance on Instagram. Um, <laughs> this lovely lady here. So together we get, we get together um, each Tuesday and yeah, I guess um, talk about gut performance, the vision that we have, projects coming up. Um, and today we're actually meeting with Dr. Mal who helped formulate uh, this incredible product with us. So let's go. Let's go. All right, so Mal, can you explain to everyone uh, very simply what is, I guess, the production process of gut performance and what makes gut performance so, um, I guess, unique in its formula and its benefits? Sure. So, in the simplest possible terms, it's prepared in a way that maintains the nutritional value of the foods. So, the foods themselves are highly nutritious foods. But the important difference is being able to prepare it in such a way that that nutrition stays in the food for when you eat it. So uh, most uh, nutrients that are found in foods are, are very easily destroyed and they go down very quickly over time. So the secret is to prepare it in such a way that is chemical free, uh, uses very low heat processes, things like that that allows the nutrition to be maintained and to preserve it in a form that can be used. And I guess, so we've got the three main ingredients. We've got um, sugarcane stem, mm -hmm. which is not sugar, um, uh, beetroot powder, and also the sorghum. Right, so uh, the, the interesting thing about sugarcane is it's actually was listed as a medicine before it was listed as a food. So if you go to the oldest surviving uh, medical text in the world, it actually lists sugarcane as a medicine. And the reason for that is that apart from the sugar, sugar cane is very good for you. So removing the sugar leaves all the good stuff behind. Um, however, what it, it does lack is uh, resistant starch and some high quality carbohydrates and that's what's found in the sorghum. So the sorghum is a very high in resistant starch. Again, it's a, uh, it's a, a what they call an ancient grain, so it hasn't been uh, modified like wheat and barley and oats have to up the carbohydrate content and, and lower the nutrition. Uh, it also has its own set of antioxidants and polyphenolics. And then the beetroot, I mean, everybody's known forever that beetroot's good for you and it just adds in some extra uh, micronutrients which aren't found in the other two. So the three foods have been put together to complement each other and, and maintain the complexity. So the difference is Complexity is the key. Most people try and take everything out and purify one thing. We try and keep everything in so that it's all there for you in a form that you need it. So we talk about gut performance being a scientifically developed food. Mm -hmm. Now, why is it that we are a food and not a supplement? Okay, so um, the important thing about foods is that they're complex. They contain a lot of different uh, nutrition, nutritional molecules in them at the same time. Unlike supplements, which even when they're from natural sources, what they do is they try and narrow it down as much as possible. Now, there's nothing wrong with that uh, in, in, as a concept because they are things that our body needs, but our bodies are not designed to absorb these things on their own. So because foods are complex, our bodies have been, has evolved to absorb them all at once. And the, the, there are a lot of cofactors and things which are required to help you absorb them. So one of the advantages of some, a food like gut performance is that it actually helps with the absorption of supplements anyway. So if you do need a little bit of extra zinc or you do need a little bit of extra um, vitamin C or something like that, you'll actually get more out of that uh, supplement by taking it with a complex food. I'm putting you on the spot, Mal. Mal, what do you think is the most... Um, what, what do you think the best impact or the best, um, I guess, findings that you found with gut performance that surprised you from the data? Well, I think that the thing that surprised everybody over the last couple of years is how important the microbial uh, the populations in your gut are. So uh, it's commonly called the microbiome. And what 
what that is is basically all the bacteria and the viruses and the, the um, yeast and things that live inside your gut. So to give you some an example of uh, how important it is, a human being has a little over two million genes um, in their in their genetic makeup. The bacteria in your gut so far they have identified about forty nine million genes. So what that means is so many genes. <laughs> So what that means is about 5% of your genetics actually, actually comes from being a human. And what has been found by the scientific community over the last sort of five to 10 years is it relates to everything from cancer survival to depression to uh, just intestinal health to diabetes to absolutely everything. And it is so amazingly complex that it is impossible to manage it with anything other than food. So that's the most interesting finding. And what's gut performance? A scientifically developed food formula. <laughs> yes, that it helps is. your gut. <laughs> All right, Mal, thank you so much for talking today. I know that I could listen to you forever. Um, I'm super excited for the new flavors that are coming out. So we got to try them today. Uh, and it tastes really good. So guys, stay tuned for the next gut performance flavor. Thanks, Mel. No problem. All right, guys, that is a full day, a little snippet into the day of the life of Hattie. Um, hope you all really enjoyed uh, what you got to see and a massive thank you to the legends at Nutrition Warehouse for creating this opportunity for me. I hope we get to do another one, so stay tuned.